look, it's a phone with my name on it. What's going on, everybody? I am right there, just like it says, Noah from PhoneDog.com. And this is the Samsung Solstice for AT&T. It's, uh, you know, it's a, not going to compare it to anything, but it's a uh, touchscreen, all-touch phone that's not a smartphone. So not as expensive to buy or maintain over the months as a certain other AT&T touchscreen smartphone. Uh, in some ways, sort of a follow-up to the Eternity, although not exactly because um, you know how cell phones go. Like, the features from one phone to another don't quite always match up, and so it's not really a sequel. But, you know, like the Eternity was a thin candy bar full-touch phone from Samsung for AT&T, so is the Solstice. In the box, you get a CD with an interactive, interactive tutorial, English user manu manual, Spanish user manual, and USB drivers. You get... Información de Salud y Seguridad, which I just mispronounced entirely. I'm sorry, I meant no offense to Spanish speakers. Uh, you get a quick start guide, is what you get. And uh, a little thing there for some free e-music. It is, if you've never used emusic.com, every time you sign up, like, you get a trial period and you can get a whole bunch of songs and then quit without paying, and then they give you, like, a please come back to us thing and you can get more free songs. And Anyway, I'm not saying you should do that, I'm just saying I've experienced it. You get a charger with a proprietary Samsung connector, and then you get the phone. So here's the phone. We'll take the, uh, the film off of it. And while it's starting up, that's me behind, that's me in the corner. Um, you've got a camera on the back with your faux crocodile skin leather back thingy. Um, more update on the battery thing. Uh, somebody actually did comment. Last last uh, phone unboxing I did was Samsung Gravity for T-Mobile, and I was commenting on how the battery cover was easy to slide on and off, unlike some Nokias that I've used recently where I've had trouble. And somebody commented that they had a Samsung, and uh, the battery cover actually did break on them, whereas they've had Nokia phones that they've dropped, and they're built rock solid. So, I don't, you know, just there you go, more for the, uh, the battery cover debate. Uh, so here's the phone. You've got the TouchWiz interface on the left. It's uh, customized with some AT&T stuff, navigation, AT&T Media Mall, all that. There's a Yahoo widget, MySpace, Facebook, all that kind of business. Uh, we'll go to the menu. There's haptic feedback going on. The phone is very small. Uh, we have got, in comparison here, Another phone for AT&T, the Apple iPhone, and you can see the uh, Eternity, much smaller, or the Eternity, I call it the Eternity, the Solstice, much smaller than the iPhone. But it is kind of though, because the Eternity was the A867, and here the A887 Solstice. So, you know, I'm making informed uh, wrong statements, or however you'd say that. Anyway, you can see, you know, much smaller. The display also much smaller than a phone like the iPhone. And a uh, little bit, it's kind of roughly the same thickness. iPhone does that, you know, rounded corner thing to trick you into thinking the phone's thinner than it really is. Uh, maybe a little bit thicker than the Solstice. Anyway, back to the device. No SIM card, but that's okay. We'll get back to that. So yeah, your AT&T GPS, your AT&T Music, your mobile video, mobile web, App Center, Yellow Pages Mobile. You know, you get the drill. It's a feature phone, but it can do lots of things that feature phones can do now. 3G, no Wi-Fi, um, very thin and light. The touchscreen feels pretty responsive on first tap. We'll go to the messaging app here. And uh, so you've got a few different ways you can enter messages on this phone. You can go, well, that's not T9. That's just ABC mode. You can go ABC mode, you can go T9, you can go handwriting, you can rotate the phone and then go full QWERTY. That's pretty good, actually, for a phone this small. 
that actually works pretty well with the T9 predictive and with the T9 predictive and the uh, the haptic feedback and and the full cordy and everything that actually works pretty well. I'm um, you know just a first glance, but I'm pretty impressed for the size of this device. So there you go. It's a first look at the Samsung Solstice, very similar to uh, what's it called, the Highlight that just came out on T-Mobile. I think the specs on the T-Mobile the Highlight may be a little bit, little bit fancier than uh, just pure spec-wise than the Solstice. But uh, pretty nice, and you know, the, the keyboard, surprisingly good. No 3.5mm headphone jack. You have the proprietary Samsung connector on the side for your earphones and your charger. Uh, there's what looks like, well, it's a button, obviously. Well, let's see what this button does when we press it. Shortcut menu button over on the side there. Uh, also, another button. Camera button, dedicated camera button. 2 megapixel, I believe, is your limit here. Yes, in fact, 2 megapixel. And if we go to video mode, you're going to get 320 by 240 maximum resolution on your video mode. Uh, up on top, you've got a lock switch on the side, your microphone and uh, rocker switch for volume. On the bottom, another microphone. On the back, your camera. There you go. Samsung Solstice for AT&T. Much, much more on this and all the new phones. We're going to have to do some inter or intra-carrier dogfights, I think, to compare the lineups of all these different phones. And uh, as soon as we get done with that, it'll be time for new phones. CTIA, the fall edition, early October. Phone Dog will be there in San Diego, California, live, bringing you all of the new phones coming out of CTA. Beginning of October, I believe October 6th, October 7th, something like that. Whenever it is, we'll be there so you can find out what's new. You, you right there. Till next time, I'm Noah from Phonog.com. That's me in the corner. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you later. Bye bye.